What are you going to wear? I don't know. And, uh, take, take those boxes away. This diet is going to kill you. Mrs. Stanhope? Mrs. Stanhope. She wanted to see me. So she's making a collection for St. Boniface's Church, the Restoration Fund. So I said, of course, she could come in, let her in. You? You, you let a stranger in the house, you? <gasps> Mrs. Stanhope's not a stranger. Laurie. Uh, oh. 20 pounds! <laughs> Smash up the arm, sit down and twist you, you're like your mother. How dare you talk about my mother! Hey, I'm finished with that! Finished with that? Well, I'm finished with you! Get out of my house! You ruined it! You ruined it, my whole life! <laughs> Have you ever met a lover so intoxicating that whenever you're apart, you miss them? Every minute of the day, every moment of the night. Love blooms. Help me! Therefore the moon, the governess of floods, Pale in her anger washes all the air that rheumatic diseases do abound. And thorough this distemperature we see the seasons alter. Hoary-headed frosts fall in the fresh lap of the crimson rose. And on old Hyam's thin and icy crown, an odorous chaplet of sweet summer buds is as in mockery set. So you're Greg. This is your script. It is. Just like Sam, some of those boys won't come back. <laughs>